Okay, uh, so what we are going to do over there, uh, we are going to configure the some IP addresses, right? And uh, we are also going to configure the some protections over on the routers, right? About the password and all. And uh, this, these are the things we are going to discuss over there, right? Let me just... So let me just con just connect these devices between them, right? So what is this? Zero slash zero, and this one is also zero slash zero. So first of all, let me do the configuration that is related to the network. Let me just write it down. What is the network IP address that we are going to use it? Dot ten dot zero slash 24 network IP address we are going to use it over there, right? So 24.1 and uh, sorry 10.1, 10.2 over on this interface we are going to use it, right? So let me just take the access of this router and let me just do the configuration on that. Okay, so first of all, uh, let me change one more thing over there. Now you can check that this is the router, right? This is the name of that you can see that is the router, but we can also change the host name as well, right? Such as uh, we can also assign router one over there, right? So just see over there that is previously that is uh, that is this one, right? Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to change this, the host name over there, right? Now you can change the uh, you can see that is uh, that is a new host name that is we assigned or on this device right <clears throat> now this is how we can assign the host name but let me just configure the IP addresses first of all over on that so interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 right so IP address which is we are going to use it 192.168.10.1 and the subject mask would be the by default class C subject mask, right? And don't don't forget to do no shutdown after configuring the IP address on that device, right? Then this port will be work fine. Otherwise, this port will be not come up, right? Let me also show you. Uh, I'm not going to do no shutdown command or on this router. You can also check these things as well. Let me just. Let me change the host name, right? So host name that is router router two, right? Now let me just configure the IP address. First is an edge zero slash zero IP address. So one ninety two dot one sixty eight ten dot two. By default class C address we are going to use it, right? So we didn't do the no shutdown command over there, right? So if you are not going to use the no shutdown command, so that port will be not come up, right? So we must have to use the no shutdown command. So once we just enable this command, once we turn on these devices, so that port will be comes up in the queen state, right? Now, let me just do the configuration uh, that is related to this password and all right now we have the we have the basically three to four types of password right so uh, let me just describe first of all what kind of passwords that we have and uh, how we can assign that or on these routers Open my WordPad, Microsoft WordPad.
Okay, uh, so we are going to discuss about the passwords over there, right? And uh, the some protocols also we are going to discuss about this VTY. So basically, we have lots of password over there. Uh, we can also configure these password, but uh let me just explain what are the most important part of the password that we can configure over on that device so basically this is our uh the racks of the physical topology right means oh, we have the racks but how they are connected they are connected just like that right so you can make this diagram um later right not right now let me just describe the password about the password so if we talk about the password so we have the three types of password that is plain text md5 right and vty so uh, we called it line vty right so plain text means you can uh, you can see the password that is whatever the password that you have created over there you can see that right but md5 or uh, the encrypted password we can say that this is encrypted password right this is our encrypted password we cannot see this password and we have also one more password that is um, md7 this is also the type of encrypted password right and if we talk about line vty so inside the line vty we have uh, basically we we use these uh, this line vty function for the remote can remote access right now, what are the remote access protocols that is we have, which is Telnet and SSH, right? Telnet is called Teletype, Teletype Network, right? And SSH is called Secure Shell right sorry so uh, these are the things that is we have regarding the password right so we are going to configure the password over on these routers right and uh, how we can take the access of the remotely how we can take the access of any device we will also talk about that right so we have done the IP configuration over on these devices right now what you have to do what we have to do now we are going to configure the passwords over there right so enable enable password right that is a uh, that is unencrypted password we are going to configure that right so that is we are going to change uh, we are going to configure the ccn right now we have one more password that is enable secret right so enable secret we have uh, basically the specific encryption and encryption and encryption password also over there right so over there you can see that um, we can we can use the zero for specifies an unencrypted password with following the zero right and with following these five specify an encrypted secret will follow right so and and uh, the line will be an encrypted as well right and level you can set the level of the password also over there right so just only the password we are going to do that that would be automatically convert into the encrypted password right so that is we are going to configure that ccnp right now what we are going to do we are going to enable uh, the remote access services over on these devices right so how what you can do you uh, you can you can control this device this uh, router number one from there right means 
if you are working on this device so you simultaneously you can also take the access of this device and you can manage this device as well at the same time right with using the telnet and ssh protocol right so we are going to configure the telnet protocol over there right and um inside the telnet protocol how we can configure let let's do that right so before configuring the telnet protocol we have to configure the line line password over there right so line vty right now if you choose the first line number right means how the first machine that you want so suppose that i just take the machine one or zero right means uh, from started to we can configure the 15 number of the machine right means we can take access uh, at the same time on the 15th user 15th users right so i'm going to take the zero to four over there now if we just do the question mark over there so we have lots of things right we can also set the password if you want right so what we are going to do we are going to enable the password because of we have to do that okay so let's configure the password over there password would be ccie right that's all now you can also set the previous level as well regarding this uh taking access of uh this device right we can also set the privilege uh, privilege label as well right we can also set the speed right and um, priority we can also set this priority as well right we have lots of things we have ipv6 as well and we have lots of things right now after configuring the password you have to do login right yes uh see zero means i just take the access of and it's i'm going to assign the five pcs in between that means suppose that we have the five pcs or the five devices continuously right and we are uh i am the i'm the administrator of these five machines right means these are the five devices in our users right so what we have to do we have to um first of all uh, we can we can uh, we can manage these five devices or on the first devices only right with using the telnet protocol okay so that is that is this uh, related to this telnet protocol over there that's fine now let's configure this telnet over there right now the telnet is configured uh, right now or on this device which is on the router number one right which is on the this device how we did that with using line vty 0 to 4 and i will i, I also set the password over there right <coughs> let me just show you that is the password and i just do the login over there now we have the two modes over there we can set this uh, particular login for this uh, for this local right the so local password check in this uh, if you wants to check the local password so that will check the local password or otherwise you can go for the authentication right so there will be some uh, some kind of server that is the triple a server right so we do not have any triple a server so normally we are going to use the local right that's all so the same thing we are also going to do that or on the test device to show right which one line vty 0 to 4 this configuration we are going to do that right and the same things same protocols same password we are also going to do that on the another router as well so let's do that
let's paste it from there. Okay, so I just enabled the telnet protocol on these two routers. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the access of, uh, see, I'm going to manage this device with using this device, right? So let me open this device and how you can check it, how you can do that with using telnet command. How you can take the access of it, which is telnet and that remote IP address. That was 10.2, right? Now, the authentication, uh, now the telnet is working properly, right? So how, see, before taking the access of any device, you have to must, uh, you have to make sure that that device is must be reachable from your source, right? Whatever the, uh, whatever the device that you have, that device must be reachable with the, each other. Then you can take a easily access of this remote access of these devices, right? Now, let me just. Now we are on the router number one, right? I just took the access of router number two, as you can also see over there, right? Now the time is expired. So uh, you have the some kind of limitation times also the time limitation as well, right? So between now uh, within the time you have to set the password, you have to tell the password that is you have. Let's do it again. So what was the password? CCNA. Sorry, CCNP. Okay. Okay, the username it is asking about, right? So username that is uh that is you have configured router two right and the password that is you have to do that ccna i think no uh actually uh, the username is required over there uh that's uh, we don't know that what is the username i just configured on that right so we have to make sure that what is the username that you have to configure uh, that you have already configured on that let me just Let me take the access from there. Telnet 192.168.1.10.1. Right, so username, that is, we are going to do that admin and the password, which is CCNA. Let me do that again. CCNP. Okay, uh, I think I just I just lost the connection because of I didn't remember the username that is I have configured, but the configuration command would be the same as on these routers or the switches, which is you have done on that, right? So what was the configuration that was? So uh, this was the configuration that was related to this, right? Okay, so you can also write it down and you can also set the password on the devices, on the uh, on these switches, right? Uh, let me just verify you one more thing over there. Let me just, uh, first of all, write the configuration. Let me save the configuration and let me do the reload of that device. Right, let me just reload the device. I just saved the configuration, which is I have done the configuration regarding this password and all right so now let me just if you take the access of this device again so you need the password over there ccnp right so what was the password whatever the password that you have given over there you have to 
just press the password then you can take the access of this device do you understand that guys why we require the password if anybody comes uh, such as hacker or anything and uh, suddenly he just take that he just wants to take the access of your de your device so that ex that hacker needs uh, the some kind of password which is you have configured on that right so just these kind of things that is we have let me do the reload also over there and let me show you that whatever the password we have done it over there once the, the this this device will come up again so you need to require the password once, once you enable this once you want to move this uh, this mode into the enable mode so there will be the password is, is going to require it, right and that should be the enable uh, this ccnp password which is the secret one right so you have to press the secret password which is uh, as you can also see over there i just press the uh, secret password but that password is not going to you cannot see that password while typing uh, or while entering this password right so these are the things that is we have related to this password username host name and the telnet configuration let me check one more thing Internet 192.168.10.1. Again, the username is required. Actually, I didn't remember this username, so that's why I'm not able to take the access of it. But the configuration would be the same, which is you have done on that, right? So this was all about the password configuration and all.